Hi guys, so today I am in Vlora in Albania. Just leaving my hostel now. And uh, I am going to people who are staying here as well. Uh, we're going to drive down the coast a little bit and then go hiking along the beach uh, to a little monastery on its own little island. I uh, don't really know much about it, I'll give you more info as I go. But right now uh, we're going to go jump in the car and uh, drive a little bit of the way there and then begin our walk. So we've just reached St Mary's Monastery, um, very lucky today, absolutely no wind. Yesterday was crazy how windy it was. Um, we got some uh, old rusty looking flamingos right there uh, with the monastery in the distance. A lot of trees here and there seems to be a school trip here today as well. But uh, we'll find out a little bit more about it. So this monastery is on its own little island and it's connected by this wooden bridge. So the monastery was thought to be built in the second half of the 14th century. Uh, looking at it, it's uh, got some like really, really old stonework and um, it looks really, really beautiful from the outside. I'm just so surprised that there are this many tourists, especially children. It's uh, quite weird, but um, stunning location with all the water in this beautiful natural lagoon. I love it. There was no the edge of the side yeah, of the yeah, road, yeah. There's this God, there's loads of uh, loads of tourists here. So this is the monastery right here, and I think it wraps around. Uh, quite a lot of uh, pollution and rubble, but uh, yeah, loads of tourists. There seems to be a few school trips, even though it's a Saturday. But yeah. This is pretty so this is a natural lagoon that connects to the ocean and uh, let's explore this area a little bit Very pretty monastery. Uh, the girls that I was with who were wearing shorts weren't allowed in because they were wearing shorts, even though I am wearing shorts. Anyway, um, that was really nice. I think we're gonna now hike along the beach a little bit. Uh, I need to work out how we're gonna get out of this natural lagoon. Uh, we got drivel over here, so I'm sure we can find our way back. Uh, it was about a uh, 20 minute drive from uh, the outskirts of Flora and yeah but i think this is just gonna be a nice chill day hopefully we're gonna see some more pretty sights but so far it's all stunning so when the dictator was in power in uh, albania he was very very paranoid and built these nuclear fallout shelters everywhere there's actually one right next to our hostel as well but this being right next to the monastery I don't know if it was uh, active back then, but uh, I don't know if we can see anything. Can you see anything inside? No, I don't think so. No. That tree has literally grown onto the onto the concrete bunker. This peninsula oh, is absolutely phenomenal. Look at this. Mountains on the water island. So this island over here, I'm pretty sure was an ex-military base. Uh, and it's only quite recently, I'm not sure what year, was open to the public. Uh, I think there was apparently military testing and uh, I think it was a USSR. Uh, army camp thing and now it's been open to the tourists and you can get a uh, boat over there 
I'm not going to be doing that because right now we are in the middle of nowhere. This is just so cool. Look at, look at the water here. It's kind of shallow. There's clearly been landslides and the water's just kind of built up. But it's so cool. That water is clear. Somewhere between sand and clay. So all of this is a mix of sand and clay. And it was fine higher up when it was less wet, but down here, oh, I almost just slipped right in. The water is so clear. I want to touch it. I want to, I want to see how warm it is. I haven't touched the sea yet, but it's just such a stunning landscape. Beautiful. I want to think. Like you can see all of the uh, all the layers of stone. I think there's limestone in there, and clay, and sand, and mud. But it's beautiful. It's just such a beautiful place. There's actually some uh, camper vans with people uh, staying over here. Uh, we saw a uh, little campfire as well. It's beautiful. Hopefully we don't get caught in the rain. It's starting to rain, so I think we're gonna go walk over to those bunkers and see if we can get inside. If we can, that is gonna be the highlight of my day. I really wanna go inside one of these wild ones. I know in Tirana they had uh, Bunk Art 1 and Bunk Art 2, which are being converted into museums. But seeing one of these uh, old, abandoned ones would just be amazing. I don't know how big the bunkers are inside, but all I can think of is uh, thinking of those Fallout games where you uh, leave the bunker after a nuclear war and then looking out onto the wilderness when you leave, you get a view like this. <laughs> Hopefully we can get inside. God, so we made it to the bunker. This is the entrance to it. And it looks deep. It's going straight, straight into the cliff side. The fuck? Wow. Yeah. Oh, and here, all the information they can see on which plane and where. Ah, oh, well, here's the first room. Oh, you can't even see it, it goes in so deep. Oh, wow, there's stairs. <laughs> stairs? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? Whoa. I thought the. We're uh... gonna end up on the BBC with the dumb tourist that went into a lighthouse. <laughs> Okay, you're just super drunk. I don't think I have the right shoes for this. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you guys alive? Why did we decide to go in here? I have no idea. We're just following some British guy. I don't know his name, I don't even know. Oh, but my name's Dan. <laughs> okay, my name's Anna. Anna? Lovely. Oh, which is like just that's pretty much the Dutch version of M. Oh, lovely to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we walked through the mountain. Did we? Yeah. Oh wow. We've come through a different entrance. <laughs> what is this? Oh that looks crazy. Who died? What is this? Oh god. Uh what's our charging for uh yeah? This is just so cool. We just literally walked all the way through the mountain to another side of it. Wow, so this is through the other side. So I think we must be near the monastery now. I think the monastery that we came from is over that direction. 
this is just so cool. Look at that, just a completely, looks like an undiscovered, overgrown bunker entrance. Very full out. Right, back into the, uh, back into the vault. <laughs> It says an X, so I think shouldn't maybe go there. Oh, I think it's just like some wet ground, but it's wet. It must be another exit. Yeah, it's another exit. Okay, it's not that bad. There's loads of goat shit and cow shit in here as well. So clearly the shepherds house their uh, livestock in here. I saw that before, I would have never gone in. And I think the car's just over there. So yeah, great. Ah, wow. I actually saw this entrance before. Yeah, but it's like I'm not, never not gonna no, enter it. No. And there's some kind of derelict building over here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's been a really, really cool day checking out a different part of Albania. Beautiful monasteries, beautiful landscape, and of course, really cool, exciting bunkers. Uh, I'm gonna be in Albania a little while longer I'm gonna travel a bit more south after uh, my time in Vlora and uh, yeah I'll take it from there anyway cheers <laughs>